Not gonna lie, I'm kind of rusty, man. When's the last time I went live? I think it's when I was building that PC. some dinner earlier I'm just washing some dishes I want to go live I made a community tab post I made a community tab post saying you know I think I'm going live right now it's 11 13 p.m. so it's getting late and by the time I finish my dishes are probably be super late so you now I want to go live and just talk about stuff man As y'all know by the last two videos, I had relapse and I already said why I'm gonna do this, I'm not gonna say why again. But one thing I realized today, right? Literally today, literally about 20 minutes ago, is that you know people always joke about you know needing to go to a bar and needing to drink because they're stressed, right? Because they're stressed about something, right? And if y'all know me, y'all know I don't drink, right? I think the last time I had alcohol, like a full alcohol was, like full alcohol, even, mean, even meaning wine, was probably, like, oh, full alcohol, beer. I've been a minute. <laughs> I don't even remember if I have any. I don't even think I had any. Did I have any wine? I don't even think I had any last year. This year, for sure, I haven't drank any, you know, alcohol or anything like that. Last year, if I had any, probably like one bar, or one cup of something. But I don't drink, right? And it made me think, right? People who drink, right, or people who have an alcohol addiction and stuff like that, they tend to have something stressful happen, and they turn to the, the alcohol, right? Same thing with smokers. They turn to, depending on what smoker, they tend to cigarettes, or if they smoke the other, the green stuff, they, smoke, they turn to that green, right? That Zaza, whatever you call it. I'm not trying to get demand. I'm not demand. I'm trying. I'm not trying to get yellow flagged on here, man. You should be a little sensitive nowadays. But I realized I don't do any of that stuff. But I do, and I hope y'all can hear me because I know I'm washing dishes. Let me turn it down a little bit. But I do turn to PMO. Right, I turn to those videos and stuff like that whenever I get super stressed. And I got better at it. Like I told y'all, I turned to heavy prayer and stuff like that. And, you know, I just went in on... Um, those are done. They're dry. And I just went in on... You know what I'm saying? Using everything I can to avoid turning to that stuff, right? And it works, man. It works. When I was like super stressed, like I, I, it was hard to sleep and stuff like that. The prayer helped me avoid the PMO. You feel me? And I'm actually glad. Like, you know how rare it is to have the house myself, man. That's literally why I'm live right now. Like, I used to go live a lot. But usually, usually, 
house is empty, I'm working. And, you know, by the time I finish work, people are home. So, you know what I'm saying? But, I mean, I'm gonna I'm date off as like we can, but that's, that's some sad, right? But anyways, I turned the PMO. And I told y'all in the, in the last two videos, well, the second to last video, um, I had some unfortunate news by a family member that's very close to me. Um, my uncle, man. My, my uh, The uncle, the father of the two cousins that were super close to me that I talked about on this channel, pretty much around the time I created it, and a few years after that, and I still bring them up every now and then, but the first, I'm lying, the second time I hit 90 days, I made a, like a third man video about it and I brought my cousin up. And if you saw the all of Ace's 90 day moments video that I made a few months ago, um, com like putting all of nine, my 90 day deals together, um, you would you would heard me talk about him there too, like my cousin. But my uncle, he had a seizure and like just ram, ram had a seizure, not here. Like he, they were here, they were here for two weeks, but they, they already left and stuff like that. They, they, they're gone. But yeah, I see her. And they go to the hospital and stuff like that. And they had to run the test. Thankfully he's fine now, but all that stuff kind of got to me. You know what I'm saying? I was already stressed out about stuff. And I got through that and I was good. And then that happened and kind of, you know what I'm saying? Kind of set me over, you know? And that's no excuse. That's no excuse to say, oh, you know what I'm saying? Because a lot of people who relapse, they tend to make excuses, right? It wasn't my fault, it was this, this, and the third. I'm not using that as an excuse. I'm just saying this is what I'm just trying to let you, you know. But. Yeah, man, I, I just have to avoid using that as a crutch, you know what I'm saying? And literally, as I was kind of dwelling a little bit on my relapse and stuff like that, something else stressful happened today. You know what I'm saying? It was just, it wasn't the best. It wasn't the best. But, well, today and yesterday, but it's for other stuff. And when I say stressful, I don't mean like little miniature stuff that's like, oh, okay, like, oh, this is this is bad, but like it's 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 not a big deal. It's not that. You know what I'm saying? That's nothing. It's just You know what I'm saying? Stuff that is kinda big, you know, that kinda got to me all over the weekend and stuff. I really have to, and I had a conversation with God, you know, when I, after I made that relapse video, when I got home and stuff like that, it was already, it was already late, it was already late, but I had to talk to God and I had to sit down talking to him and stuff like that. It was just, it was a lot, man. It was just a lot. But I really have to, and I don't know if Brother Mike, Brother Mike probably not in here. He probably not going to watch this, but Brother Mike, if you're watching this or see this after the fact, um, I got your email. I got your email with the link to the video. I'm definitely going to watch it. I'm going to watch it. Before I go to bed. Before I go to bed, I want to watch it. It's a promise. And I will respond to the email. Also, shout out to Brother Mike in general, man. He, he sent me different video recommendations and stuff like that. And you know what I'm saying? They're, they're very helpful. And I saw someone comment in my video. Like, right before I went live. 
saying, you know, I've been doing this for eight years and, you know, still relapsing and how something's got to change, which I don't really disagree with, you know. I should be doing better, but... Uh, Outside. I should be doing better, you know. I should be quitting this for life and stuff like that. Uh, listen here, actually. I should be quitting this for life, you know what I'm saying? Of course, you know, we make mistakes and stuff like that over the years, and it's very hard to go eight years. This is very hard in general to go eight years just without that stuff, man. And come in here. Step into my office. I'm not gonna be here too long, man. Like it's hot and I said I wouldn't be lied on anyway. But I do have to change the Wi-Fi because the Wi-Fi is gonna glitch out a little bit. Yeah, man, I just really have to... I have to go back up my P's and Q's, man, my P's and Q's, and... It's... it's... I felt embarrassed, man. Um, I, when I recorded yesterday's video, <clears throat> I, when I recorded yesterday's video, I didn't check my comments on the previous video. I was too embarrassed. I was too, just, I just felt ashamed of myself, you know, and, you know, relapse is happening and stuff like that, but it's something about this recent relapse that really struck me man and i just uh i was too embarrassed to look at it, you know what i'm saying but I took at the comments and stuff but i eventually did and y'all being supportive so i appreciate y'all this uh I forgot where I was going with this, but <laughs> just want to say, man, that I apologize for those of y'all who, you know, are following me on a day-to-day -day basis. I have to do better, and I really have to, you know, be ten toes down. This is going to be, I guess, the video for tomorrow, because usually I record a video and stuff like that, but I guess this will be the video for tomorrow, uh, the stream and stuff like that, so... Yeah. But yeah, man. Um uh, for the end of this night after I watched the video that Brother Mike sent me, I'm going to to sit down with God, man, and just just kind of review my notes, the notes that I've taken, because I took notes each relapse, and the latest notes that I have on there, or last notes that I have on there, have been very helpful and carried me so far, you know. So I just have to review that. Add stuff to it, listen to God, and just there's lots, there's lots of videos, man. I wish I can, I was, I literally wish that I could just switch from my phone to my computer because it'd be easier to do this. But uh, let me switch to. Literally, if you just go in here, 
and search overcoming lust christian there's plenty of different videos about you know stuff like that man there's literally different people's testimonies and stuff like that and if you type in bible you know there's a lot there's a lot so there's stuff i have to review you know and not only about lust but just things in general you know um if we go to the bible uh feeling stuck or you know just stuff like that feeling stuck like instead of searching youtube drama and stuff like that just watch watch some of these videos you know what i'm saying like there's literally plenty of videos you know and when you're feeling like you're overwhelmed just need some time just what the heck is this just you know what I'm saying? Uh, Christian uh, meditation music. Just sit down and just listen to some of this, man. This is a good channel. This is another good channel that I don't know if I'll pop up on here. If I was near my, my tablet, I would show you all, but I forgot. It's holy something. Holy. Ah, uh, it's a channel I recommend, um, but I can't remember right now. Let me, give me one second, because I really want to sh shout this channel out. It's a really good channel. I use this every night, actually, when I'm going to sleep. I need to start meditating. There we go. I use this channel a lot. I'm sleeping, but shout out to Dappy, Dappy, Tiki's as well. He posts some good. Like I use a lot of his music when I want to meditate and stuff like that. He posts some good stuff as well. I go live. He's also usually live streaming this stuff too. But shout out to him. Just a just like. The ways, man. There's like alternatives to YouTube drama and stuff like that. And you know, you gotta give time to God, right? Give time to your mind, to your free mind to rest, you know, off of technology, and also give time to God so God can give you messages, give you wisdom, and stuff like that. And stuff that I have not been doing, and uh, I really have to step up, man. But yeah, if y'all, this is a, it's a quick note, but if y'all wondering, man, I legit am forcing myself to use Linux. You know, Windows has been having issues, and I know I've been watching a lot of technology videos lately because, you know, I'm a technology person. And I build computers and stuff like that uh, from time to time on the side, but I've never realized how much bloatware and how much privacy issues are on Windows. You know what I'm saying? And Linux has none of that. And Linux is way lighter. So, I'm running Pop! OS. Let's see if I can show y'all about... Hopefully nothing will be exposed here. Okay, cool. I'm literally running Linux. I mean, uh, Pop! OS, Linux. You know what I'm saying? That's my... If you want to see my specs, my PC over here. Oh, yeah, this is the same piece that I had since March, by the way. The ones that I... I don't think, I, I don't think I've uploaded the video showing y'all my build. I still have the video. I was gonna... I actually want to watch it myself. But these are my specs. 32 gigs of RAM. Ryzen 7 7800X3D. And RX 7900XCX. I do not want to think about how much I pay for this PC. Because it was kind of crazy. But... Yeah, thankfully I ain't paid the full cost of what it would have been for it because I sold my other game PC, which I got a good chunk of change for. So, but that's off topic, man. I just wanted to, you know, come on here and, you know, what I'm saying just chat with y'all for a little bit because I don't get to go live often. 
I have to figure out OBS on Linux because I have it on the Windows, but I really want to force myself to use Linux. And I do, I am dual booting, so I have both Linux and Windows, but I have it so it defaults, it, it loads by default into Linux. Um, but of course, there's some games and stuff like some applications that I only run on Windows, so I can switch to that if I want to, but yeah. Um, Bam, I think that's all I wanted to talk about today. But I want to say shout out to y'all, man. I really want to give y'all praise to all of y'all who made so many high mod days. Those of y'all who were high me and stuff like that. Definitely keep going. do have to uh respond to comments real quick though uh, if y'all know me y'all know i like to no matter how big i am or anything like that i told y'all that i will respond to all comments so that's how i find time i kind of sit down and do it I'm gonna probably do it after I get off the live. So appreciate y'all who who joined. Some of y'all joined the kind of it was like in and out. Um, nobody really comments in the chat, which is okay because this is a late night stream. Nothing that I had scheduled or anything like that. I just wanted to go live because I don't get to go live often, you know. But the house is empty right now, so I got to do it. But we'll see when I get to do it again. Um, but yeah. Catch okay, so on next one. This will be the video for tomorrow, uh, Wednesday, August 21st. Yeah, catch okay, so on next one. Let the air out. Peace.